You cannot not be a fan anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, that was annoying. Hi guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. <laughs> it is the 21st. At this point, we are vlogging. We are one day ahead. Uh, no. We have enough to get us through one more day. So like this vlog will go up tomorrow. So we're not quite yet vlogging like same day. I don't need that kind of pressure. Mm -mm. I don't really have anything to do today. So this vlog is going to be kind of subpar. It's like nothing I do is subpar, but let's be for real. We're going to figure out something to do. So one thing some people were asking me on um, Instagram was about books. So I thought it would be fun to share some of my favorite thriller reads from this year or just my reads in general. So right now I'm at 72 books read. <laughs> If it'll pick it up, y'all see that? 72 out of 80. My goal for the year was 80. Before I started getting back into like reading again, I was sitting at like 65, and I was like, I want to reach my goal by the end of the year, and that was like, like towards the end of last month. So, we've been reading all of them, have been like novellas, so very short, so I can just like get into it. So let's go through them um and i'm just going to suggest some of the books that i think i'm only going to do thrillers that i feel you should read you know i am actually the worst when it becomes to, when it comes to describing like oh what's this book about i'm like so <laughs> but let's get into it so this book i read January 4th, 2023, is Jar of Hearts, okay? Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. This was crazy. I don't I don't want to say too much without giving like giving it away. This one was crazy. See, I can't it describe stuff, but this one was crazy. You should read it. If again, these are all thriller books, suspenseful books. If you're not into that, this is not your video. This one was good. Behind Her Lives by Brianna Cole looks like this this video is gonna have like not a ton of editing because <laughs> ain't got time but but behind her lives by brianna cole i rated this a four um basically it's about this girl and her missing sister she finds out she has a sister she didn't even know she had a sister she's trying to figure it out well she knew she had a sister but when she gets a call and was like your sister i don't know if i can say that her sister is unalive and then she goes down to the morgue to identify her sister and she's like that's not my sister and it's like oh yes it is and it's like a whole bunch of stuff crazy anything by Frieda mcfadden i am a stan i love Frieda mcfadden books let me take this off i am distracted or move it out the way have it up so that the girls do not pull it but okay Anything by Frieda McFadden, I'm a stan, love it. Razorblade Tears by S.A. Crosby, you need to read that one. I put, this was wild, definitely more, oh, I read it 4.5 stars. Definitely more of a slow burn at first, but then turns all the way up. 4.5 stars, but rounded up. This was, book was so good, I made Mark read it. And they're turning it into a movie. So this one, it's basically about a black man and a black um, I'm a black man <laughs> it's not about Mark it's about a black man and a white man and their sons are together and basically they um, huh right see have been unalived and so they basically go on like a revenge thing together even though they have their own differences especially because their sons were gay and they were together it was so good and like i said they're making that one into a movie fire okay, there's a, a series called mindfuck mindfuck series and it's on kindle limited it's like five books yes it's five books they're all pretty short like 130 pages i devoured this i devoured this i read this yes when i was pregnant april 29th i was deep into this series um the first one is called the risk they look like this um very the covers are kind of sketchy however the books itself are so good so basically it's about a like fbi agent and a 
cereal and they fall in love but he doesn't know she is it is insane it is so good it's revenge -y. it's it's so good i love it and it's not like smutty or anything like that ace of spades was one of my favorites too this i i gave this a four um i could not put this down this book it's a young adult book but was so fire here giving like gossip girl that's what it was gossip girl meets pretty little liars that's and, and with some racism thrown in there the next one i gave four stars but i cannot stop talking about it when i read this i could not put it down it must have been like a little bit slow if it if the book is slow you ain't got to worry about me you do not got to worry about me it's called lock every door by R riley sager sager i don't know sager this was crazy this one was twisty it did have some slow moments i think but once it turns up it turns up it's basically about this girl named jules she's like low on funds she ain't got nothing she she she's back is against the wall okay she goes and um applies to house it and she's house sitting in like these crazy penthouse like penthouses and stuff but people are like don't go in there because like bad things have happened there and yada yada, yada. insane the only one left by riley sager sager or sager i'm pretty sure it's sager looks like this right here i rated this one a five I listened to this one on audiobook and this one was good it there was some slow moments and i'm trying to get out of that but i just don't like slow books you have to catch me like off rip like if it's a little bit slow okay but if not you lost me and one that i really really liked was called it's called just a girl by Alyssa cole i finished this one the other day this is what it looks like. It's on Kindle Unlimited. And it's very, it's cool because it, it's like, like very social media age. So you're reading it as if you're looking at the girl's TikTok. You're looking at it like if you're reading like her emails. You know those movies whenever you watch and everything is like on the computer? That's what it's like but in book form. So I suggest reading it on audiobook. I think can, if, you, if you have Kindle, you can get the audio version as well. This was very twisty. The last one that I just finished, this one... I feel it could have been a little bit better. The main character kind of gave me mm, vibes. I gave it a three. Um, it's called I'll Be Alone for Christmas. It looks like, and it gives like Home Alone vibes. Home Alone, but thriller. So I know that wasn't like very descriptive, but trust me, if I mention those books in here, just know you should try and check them out because they are really, really, really good. They're, um, one that I would like to mention that is not a thriller, but is probably my favorite book that I read this year, which it was also like all over the place, was um, Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Devour this book. This book is so good. It's not just romance. It's not Kennedy Ryan, auto buy author for me. She's not going to give you like um oh sappy romance no it's going to be like we're going through real life situations i always suggest any books by her read the trigger warnings because they are just so good this was a, such a good book and then her hoops series it's three books ate them up ate them up so so good all right y'all it's time to eat and um for today we got peace Go five, go five, the lamb, the lamb, the lamb. Really random, my sister just yeah. mentioned. I really want to decorate Cam's helmet. Mm. I just haven't done anything yet because it's Christmas and I didn't want any of like whatever I put on it to affect like clash with the bows and stuff that I put on her. So that was just random. Get it, get it, get it. Good job, ladies. Get it. Mark, you're so loud. Oh, no, I'm so loud. But you oh. need my help of a big strong man. Oh, holy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pat Mama go first.
This is a new food. I really think what you think. I think she's gonna like them because she likes. She really. She really likes the green bean. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Come, pie. Pie, 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 mama. Ah, I'm trying to get it to you right here. <laughs> That's a go for a pie, mama. <laughs> okay, so update. Cam is not a fan of peas. She has been crying. And she's crying because she's hungry. But she won't eat them. So Mark got her up and she immediately stopped crying. He tried to feed them to her and she just spit it out. So, safe to say, she don't like peas. On the other hand... It's so gloomy out. I don't want to do nothing, but we are going to go to church tonight because that's one thing we need to go. It's like go back to church. It's obviously like I well not obviously because you may, you may not know, but like I watch church online, but I don't. It's not the same as going into church, and we have not found a church home. I was going to one near me, um, but my mom wants us to like go with her today because it's like the Christmas you know sermon or whatever thank you so that's what we will be doing um, I'm already going over here what are you crying for stop talking to my baby like that so that's one thing that we will be doing today for sure but besides that it's like um it's like that weird time in the holidays where okay my mama i got yeah. I gotta scoop it <laughs> where you're like not doing stuff but still kind of doing stuff does that make sense I don't know y'all I'm tired I mean pie, there's there's like no more left that's it now you drink your bottle it's like you get so excited that they're growing up and like starting to eat food but now that I see how they're eating I'm like girl Cause formula is expensive, but food is expensive too. So I can just imagine. Where's your salt go? Take it up. But neither of them have socks. Why not? Hi, mama. You're pretty, Mama. You're so pretty. Say thank you, Mama. No, you wear that bonnet. Get I'm it. not wearing this bonnet. <laughs> Give me her other sock. Get up. Your dad thought I was going like this. <laughs> We're about to go to the church service. We've been getting ready since five. It is six twelve. Um, it starts at seven. Mom math. If you got to be somewhere, let's say seven o'clock, you get ready. Two hours ahead minimum. And if you have twins, you need to be ready last night. That means you being replied to me. Y'all, it is the next morning. We didn't do nothing after that. We came home, put the girls' bed, went to bed. Um, let me tell you though, who would have known that Texas Real House? Y'all know that when they, uh, someone's birthday or whatever, they get saddle out, yeah, all that stuff. Okay, cool. That started happening. It was like a birthday. Like right when we sat down, there was a birthday right. And we were in the cut. Excuse me. There was a birthday right next the next table to us. And I'm like, okay. The girls were trying to put the girls to sleep. Granted, I know Texas Roadhouse is loud. The girls will sleep through anything. So I wasn't worried. So they stayed up for a little while. 
When I tell y'all there was at least 10 more, am I exaggerating? No. Like 10 more birthdays last night? I was like, bro, ain't no way it's all these people's birthday. I never in my life have I been to Texas Roadhouse and there be that many birthdays at one time. And honestly, I feel even if the girls weren't there and I was just there as a like a, a customer, I would still be annoyed because it was so much. And this guy was being one of the employees, bless you, bless you, baby. One of the guys, he was being, so, bless you, baby, so obnoxious with it. How was he? How was he? Yeah, come on, man. He, he, another, he just when they say something he just wanted to yell he just wanted to oh, yell yeah, 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 yeah. like, I was like yes sir like bro yeah I was like are you are you serious everybody was looking at him like okay dude calm down like you're doing the most so eventually the girls ended up going to sleep but still I was like girl what so I just wanted to come on and end the vlog. But we just go start a new one. <laughs> because we are at that point. This has to go up today. So once I finish this, I will start editing it down and and put it up. Um, and also, <laughs> I wanted to give a little shout out to my dad. Because my dad watches all my YouTube videos and my Vlogmas. And he's up to date, okay? He is up to date. He's the only one. Besides Mark, because I told Mark not to watch the vlogs because I put stuff in there. But my dad be up to date, okay? He got the, the notifications on. He is on it. So, hey, Dad. Thank you for watching. You see any props, Mama? With that nose, lamb. <laughs> That's what you want to say to Pops? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Later.